Hi, I'm Shane Collins, and I'm looking for your support in the upcoming GSU elections. This year, we've worked on many important areas for postgraduate students, both nationally, internationally, and at a local level. We've raised over 25,000 euro in terms of external funding that we've never had before. And we've also made our union more efficient through procurement practices. But that's just one part of my job. Please let me tell you about our manifesto. The first point is about postgraduate mental health. There's been focused attention in this area recently within TCD nationally and internationally. A Belgian study found that doctoral students experience mental illness at 2.5 times the rate of other students currently enrolled at university. Over the coming year, Shane is looking to conduct a national postgraduate student mental health survey in collaboration with the National Postgraduate Representatives Forum and the Union of Students in Ireland to identify the issues postgraduate students face and use that data to call for increased provision of support services for postgraduate students. This will require significant investment and evidence-based policy is the best way to achieve this. GSU representatives are crucial to the success of our union. We've made some big improvements this year and I know we can build on this. Soon, an EGM will be called after a long process of constitutional reform has taken place. A new international student officer, provision of a new governance and organisation structure and a new system of representation of research students will be proposed. Ensuring these items pass, the GSU will have made great strides forward. The next step is to increase the visibility of the GSU rep system via the website and direct meetings with school and course directors to clearly identify GSU structures and how this relates to Trinity's governance. Shane proposes to do this over the summer months and have everything in place for September 2017. Working on international student issues and accommodation issues have been a big part of my job this year. We've made advancements in terms of visa processes, in terms of the extension to, of the Graduate Stay Back programme to two years, and also for the first time, Trinity College will prioritise accommodation for postgrads. We've a lot done, and these are key important areas, and we need to continue building on the work that has been done this year. Shane proposes to lobby for the introduction of multi-annual student visas, which would ensure students here for more than one year wouldn't have to physically renew their visas. This would be done automatically, saving students a lot of time and the government a lot of money on admin costs. He's already been in communication with various ministers, politicians and government departments about this and it is a very real, achievable goal over the coming year. Accommodation, as everyone knows, is at a premium. In addition to Trinity prioritising postgrads for accommodation next year, the GSU Pilot Postgraduate Accommodation Network will provide an additional 100 beds for postgraduate students. Shane will oversee this through June to September of this year and put in place a plan to expand the pilot in 2018. Postgraduate issues have never been discussed so frequently at a national level as they have been this past year. With the commitment now from the Union of Students in Ireland to work on postgrad issues, as well as the continued work of the National Postgraduate Representatives Forum, we can continue to build on this and ensure postgrads are considered every step of the way. Through work of the GSU and other postgraduate representatives, Shane and the National Postgraduate Representatives Forum lobby government for the reintroduction of postgraduate supports. 4 million euros was made available with the reintroduction of postgraduate supports for the first time since 2011. The GSU has been in discussions with Eurodoc, the European Council for Doctoral Students, about Ireland's representation. Shane further proposes establishing a network of early career researchers to work on postgraduate student issues at a European level where often legislative decisions are made that directly impact our postgraduate students. Add to this the work of the newly founded Postgraduate Education Project Group, working in many pertinent areas, a lot of new initiatives are in store that will work on improving postgraduate student life. The 1937 Reading Room is a real hope for postgraduate student life on campus. We've had recent improvements to infrastructure such as new toilets and we have a kitchenette, a new breakout space to be delivered in May of this year. 
But we're not finished there. The recent passing of a student referendum means we have some resources to put into this space. So let's do it. On top of that, with so many international students and an increasing body here, we need to promote more multiculturalism on campus. In addition to that, and being a university of global consequence, we need to work towards being a university of sanctuary, both in name and practice. Building community is one of the most important pillars in our strategic plan, which we are currently devising. Crucial to this is the experience of our online students, part-time students and off-campus students. Since January 2017, the GSU has established a network with graduate organizations in the US, such as MIT, Yale, and Columbia NYC, to name a few. Shane is overseeing the development of a new transatlantic multidisciplinary postgraduate research journal in collaboration with these universities. The upcoming International Postgraduate Research Conference, taking place on May 5th and 6th, is an example of how the GSU is making their mark on an international scale. The proposed introduction of a central funding pot for postgraduate students to bring research conferences here to TCD is another strategic move, breaking down barriers such as travel and accommodation costs to postgraduate student CPD and networking. Whilst individual schools provide funding for this currently, some schools have more funds than others, this would equalize certain opportunities. In addition, the union's work on highlighting the issues around studentships this year has contributed to the proposed introduction of a new system with increased financial supports. We're committed to ensuring that you have the best possible opportunities available to progress in your fields of research. We've done a lot of work in this area this year, but a sustained effort is needed. Reports are currently being compiled as to how to best engage off-campus and part-time students. TCDSU have recently adopted an off-campus strategy and we should continue our positive relationship with them and work closely together on this matter. A survey of off-campus students will take place in May with an action plan devised prior to and presented at October's AGM. We are all GSU members and as such, Everyone deserves a quality Trinity experience. And remember, get out and vote next week. Your union is important and you're important to us.